Hey, what's good, Coach Colin Castello with Shot Mechanics Basketball. And today, I've got four different one-on-one -on -one games that are gonna help you actually score more points in real game situations. All right, so as basketball players, we love playing one-on-one, -on -one, but one of the biggest problems is a lot of players make it a waste of time by the way they play one-on-one. -on -one. So today, what I wanna do is give you four games that you can play with your friends or your teammates, gonna actually help you score more points in real game scenarios, right? But before we jump into it, go ahead and click the top link in the description down below, get free instant access to my Insta Buckets workout. This is a quick five-minute workout I put together to help you score more points and increase your scoring average. So go ahead, click the top link in the description down below to get started. All right, so the first one we got is what we call Brooklyn one-on-one. -on -one. So this is basically a transition one-on-one -on -one game where the offensive player is starting at half court and the defensive player is going to start from the second block up. So it looks a little bit like this. Offensive player is going to start on a wing right here at half court and they're going to begin with the dribble as soon as they go. Defensive player is going to start on the second block up or if you're a little bit older players that are a little bit faster, you can start from the first block down and we're going to go live one-on-one. -on -one. So offensive player is coming in transition this way defensive players coming this direction. So this is a great way to simulate transition offense, right? We always get put in a position a lot of times where we're dribbling the basketball off the court and our defender is either backpedaling or coming to meet us. And so what we're trying to do is simulate that to actually get reps, right? One of the biggest mistakes that a lot of players make is they play kind of like that classic one-on-one -on -one where they check the ball up and they hold it and they do all this sort of stuff and it might take them like nine seconds to get a shot off or whatever it is, they dribble the ball. We're trying to make it quick, we're trying to make it efficient, we're trying to replicate game scenarios here. So that's what we're doing with these uh, different kinds of one on one. So, Brooklyn style one on one, few keys. Number one, when you're on offense, try to keep a head of steam to put the pressure on the defense. A lot of times, what players will do is they'll come up and they'll just kind of trot up like this. And then once they get here, they'll try to dance and do all their stuff or whatever they're going to do. Try to keep the pressure on and make a quick decision. It's fine to dribble up and load into a three if they're backpedaling away from you. It's fine to do a little pump fake and attack if they come to close the gap. What we really want you focusing on is reading the defender and making the right read out of that decision. So Brooklyn Sire 101, keep your speed up and make that decision. All right, so next one, we've got kick and recover one-on-one. -on -one. So for this one, the offensive player is gonna start directly at the top of the key on the three-point line, and the defensive player is gonna start on one elbow with the basketball. So on go, the offensive player is gonna break along the three-point line, the defensive player is gonna pitch it to him, and at the same time as they pitch, they're gonna come close and play defense, right? So the reason why I like this is it's a great way to kind of simulate attacking closeouts and also simulate attacking off of ball movement, right? Or player movement. So if I'm the offensive player and I'm starting right here at the top of the key, as I'm sliding along the three point line, it's almost just like we're running an offense. I'm trying to get space, whatever. And maybe it's a drive and kick situation where my defender held for a second and he came back to get it, right? Just like Brooklyn style one-on-one, -on -one, you want to make a decision based on what the defender gives you, right? So if I catch and they stop short, I can pull up and shoot a three. If they close me or if they come tight, I might do a little pump fake or a rock or something, then try to get to the paint. What we want to do is get a good look by forcing them to make a decision, right? Really go as hard as you can, game speed on this, work both sides. All right, next one we got is back balance one-on-one. -on -one. For this, the defensive player is going to start heels on the three-point line in an athletic stance without the basketball, facing towards the basket just like this. Offensive player is going to balance the ball right between their shoulder blades and we start going live as soon as the ball pulls off of the shoulder blades, right? Now the defense is automatically at a huge disadvantage on this. And offensively, what we're trying to do is get them moving with something as they're turning around, as they're disoriented. What this is basically working on us and we're helping us train is reading defenders' feet as they're coming into different footwork and different positions on defense, right? So as the offensive players, I pull it off, I wanna try to do something first to get them moving. It might be a pump fake, it might be a jab step, I might hang the ball out. Whatever it is, I wanna try to get that defender moving because they're disoriented. They're starting here, they're turning around. So as I give them like a, like a hard ball fake, they might bite on it to run, right? So from there, we're working on our separation into our shooting and then getting to the rack as well. So this is definitely a much easier drill for the offensive player, but it forces you to kind of make the right reads, read the defender's footwork and attack from there. So back balance one-on-one -on -one is one of my favorites to really work on that reactionary style one-on-one. -on -one.
All right, the next one I love is short court one-on-one. -on -one. Now you can do this if you have a gym that has side baskets. Now I personally like doing it on a, on a court that's not quite as wide like this one, where the side baskets are a lot closer. And basically it's just continuous one-on-one. -on -one. You make a basket, you keep it, you go the opposite direction, going back and forth. Now the whole key here is you wanna work on going as quick as you can and take what the defender gives you. Again, if I'm dribbling up in transition and they're backpedaling, there's nothing wrong with pulling up and getting a jumper in rhythm, in transition, right? Going back and forth. Now, one thing you wanna do, it's up to you and it's up to your age group, but you can even do limit on dribble restrictions. One thing I like to do is limit how many dribbles you get once you pass your own three-point line. Now, you can change this depending on how wide your court is, but let's say I'm attacking this hoop this way, I might have a three dribble limit where once I pass my own three-point line, I've got three dribbles to get some sort of shot up, right? So that's a great way to ensure that we're not, you know, wasting dribbles, doing a bunch of dancing and a bunch of stuff that's not gonna actually translate in real game, but we're going back and forth. Um, another great thing about this kind of continual one-on-one -on -one, side to side is that it's really good for cardio. If you get you and like a couple buddies and you do this for 20 minutes, you're gonna be breathing really hard, get a really, really good sweat in because it's constant back and forth. And so you kind of get a little bit of transition, but it's still playing one-on-one. -on -one. All right, don't forget, if you want to increase your scoring average, go ahead and click the top link in the description down below or the first link in the pinned comments and get free instant access to my Insta Buckets workout. It's a quick five minute workout, much like this one today, only more in depth, that's gonna help you score more points. And if you're new to Shot Mechanics, pop that subscribe button, ding the bell notification, because sometimes YouTube doesn't like to give you my videos, and make sure you hit that like button to help us with the algorithm so our videos actually get seen and players actually get better. Also, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what sort of video you want to see next, and hopefully we'll be able to get to it. Again, my name is Coach Colin Castello with Shot Mechanics Basketball. Thanks for watching, and until next time, splash on.